Well, Cornwall is quite unique. It's a beautiful county, but it's also very rural. It's very coastal. The population can swell from 500,000 to several million in the height of the summer. All of that leads to congestion on the roads and with the moorlands and the inaccessible beach areas. It's vital to have an air ambulance. There's a lot of people walking around today that, that owe their lives to the air ambulance. Ambulance, is the patient breathing? The patient is me, and I can't think straight. I'm, I'm just suddenly, suddenly bleeding. It's absolutely flooding out. You can ask anybody in Cornwall, and they'll know someone who's had use of, or knows someone who's had the use of for the air ambulance. There are times when the air ambulance is the only thing that will do. I'm up on the moor. You're up on the moor. Flooding out with blood. That's you're flooding out. I'm like, all right, you're doing really well. I was 33 and a half weeks pregnant. I could see I was bleeding, and there was a lot of blood. Okay, I don't know what to do. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, we're going to get you some help. I didn't realise how bad it was until after the event. It's like emergency cesarean, imminent threat to life, mother and child. If it wasn't for the air ambulance, one or both of us wouldn't be here. I still meet people that don't realise it is a charity. It's all by charitable donation. It's people doing bungee jumps, it's cake sales, it's putting pennies in the pot, it's the businesses that sponsor us. So together we're one big team. From us here clinically to you out there, without your support, this aircraft won't continue to fly through the skies of Cornwall saving lives. I didn't think I'd ever need them on an elderly horse on a Sunday morning in the sunshine and everything changed in a second. It could be someone you know, you love, your child, your parents, your friends. We have to keep Cornwall Air Ambulance flying. It literally saved my life. You just don't think that something like this is relying on people dipping around in your pocket. You can't put a price on that. They're normal men and women who are just extraordinary people. We always need you and we hope that you never need us. But if you do, we're here to help. I look at her sometimes and I think, she shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. It's very hard sometimes. To actually walk into somebody's life at their absolute time of need, it's an absolute honor. I couldn't think of anything better to do. It's just amazing. I just want to say thank you and to everyone who's donated in the past, who's kept them going and enabled them to come to me. Just thank you.